During your language courses this year, you've been taking part in the Échange Warwick Clermont, using a Google community group to take part in structured activities to think about your computer-mediated communication skills. Now, these skills can be evidenced using open badges. So this document here that we've shared with you tells you a little bit about open badges. These are digital signifiers that represent the skills that you have acquired taking part in the virtual exchange. Now, as you see on the document, there are several different badges that you can claim depending on what you've taken part in whilst you've been doing the virtual exchange. And there's even a milestone badge that's issued automatically if you can claim three or more of the badges above. So how do you go about claiming your badges? Well, if we look at the first badge, you have to provide evidence that you've joined the Google Plus community and you've completed an Introduce Yourself post. So if I come back into the community, as you know, there are more than 400 people within this community. So how do I quickly find the relevant evidence? Well, all I need to do is to put my name into the search box and that will return all my activity within the virtual exchange. Now I will have introduced myself right at the beginning. So if I come right down to the earliest entries, now this returns activities, not just my posts, but posts and interactions. Now, if I come to one of my earliest posts to introduce myself, which is here, there's the filter in green that shows that it was on that activity. Now, if I click the little arrow here, you can see that I've now focused in just on that post and I've got a URL at the top that I'm going to copy onto my clipboard. I'm then going to come back into the claim link on the badge details and I'm going to open that link. Now this is the badge and the badge information and here's the claim form. I need to input my name, I need to input my email address. We put that in twice to make sure that we've got the right email address for you to make sure it's accurate. Preferably this needs to be an email address that is one that's coming with you for life, not just the institutional one. I'm now going to paste that URL that I took just now into the evidence link. I've also got the option of doing a screenshot and uploading a file there. Taking a screenshot is quite easy. All you need to do if you're on a Windows machine is press Function, Alt and Print Screen and then save to an image editing software such as Paint. But many of you will know how to do that already. Uh, then you just, once the details are completed, submit your application using the big button. What we will then do is to check your evidence and if we're happy with it, you, your badge will be issued. You'll get an email to that email address that you've used offering the opportunity to collect your badge. Once you've got your badge, use the second video to see how to share it and display it and to add it, for example, to your own website or to your LinkedIn profile, etc. Open badges are really useful online identifiers of your skills. So we hope you'll collect as many as you've earned during this activity and that you'll show them. And if you're using submitting an e-portfolio, you may want to add your badges to your My Portfolio as well. Good luck.